here's a little uh, something that I discovered. Um, you're looking at a filament from a Subaru. This is for you Subaru people. You people. Um, this is the headlamp. I think it's the low beam. And of course you have the glass over here. That's the filament. See the coily thing? It's the filament. That's what the resistance of that is um, is what causes this thing to glow. And there's your light comes out of there. It's this glass. Then you have, so you have a wire coming down here and it goes on a tab over here. So the plus comes in here, goes through the filament, goes down here, goes through this other side. Sorry about the shaking, but and then it comes down here and there's a there's meant to be another little tab here, and it, like this on the side, there's meant to be another little thing here, and it's just kind of this little piece which is bent up now. So what I discovered was you'll see your light goes out and sometimes it comes back, and when you waggle around the connector, this connector down here, when you waggle it around, the light goes on and off. And you think, oh shit, it must be something to do with this the the, the connector that goes on here. So I resolded that because it did look like it was kind of not very well. Uh, it didn't look like it was in good condition. And then I, um, it still didn't come back on, and I saw I was getting 12 volts. Then I was just, then I was like, what has to be, um, I was testing resistance, and there was no um, circuit here. And the filament I can see, I mean, sometimes the filament blows and you can't see, but in this case, I don't know, it looks like the filament is not blown. Because normally you would think that when when a light bulb blows, this filament blows out just over time, this resistance and everything, you know, it's going to, just metal's going to break down. And I warned you this was long. So what happened was, to cut a long sh story <coughs> short, is the tab on the other side over here, which is now, which I bent up, it was making a kind of a, a connection intermittent, intermittently. So when I, whoops, when I, so when I waggled this thing around, the connector which fits onto here, this, um, the, uh, come on, you son of a, this was making a, an intermediate connection. And it's kind of confusing because you think, oh, it's not the bulb, you think it's the wire, but it actually it is the bulb. And, um, you know, you look, I, I looked at this filament and the filament's still fine, so I'm like, okay, what's going on? Something is weird here. That's what it was. And I wonder if this is kind of a design flaw where this little tab comes off. I mean, it, this shouldn't come off. Um, but I tried to solder it, but this this metal here is not a solderable metal. See the see the long, see this thick thing that comes down on this piece over here? You can't really solder it. So what I did here, I just bent it up and kind of pushed it onto the onto the body. And you can see why this whole thing is all, you know, looks like it's been heated up. So just a little uh, interesting tidbit of information about these lamps because I see lots of Subarus with the low beams out and I don't know whether they're in the enclosures designed such that the bulbs um, heat up and the, this little tab thing comes off I'm not sure why it does that but just you know if, you, if you're kind of tooling around and you know you think it's the because I honestly thought it was this connector but I guess you always have a spare bulb to put in there and you would have not wasted three hours and three minutes and 28 seconds listening to this crap. And um, that's the moral of the story. So there you go, Subaru people.